Jillian Mayen here for BTN.com. Today we are joined by Luke Cunnan, the captain of the Wisconsin hockey team. Luke, this is a pretty special occasion because you are not only a big star on Wisconsin's team, but you were also captain of the for the USA team for World Junior Championships and coming off of a huge win. So let's just start by, can you describe what that was like, that moment when you beat Canada? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty surreal. Um, you know, we had a great group of guys in that locker room and, you know, we were a real close bunch and, you know, to come out on top, there was no better feeling. So uh, just a great experience that I've had in my life so far. And, you know, it was just, uh, it was a great time. What was it like playing in the World Junior Championships and representing Team USA and also being a captain for Team USA? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, something I dreamed about as a kid, uh, you know, to play for the U.S. in the World Juniors. And, you know, obviously it was so, uh, so special to be the captain of that team and, you know, help lead that team to a gold medal. And, uh, you know, just really words can't describe it. Just uh, so much fun and so glad I got the opportunity. Talk about that moment when you actually received the gold medal, and it was a pretty exciting game against Canada. What was that moment like when it finally clicked that, oh my gosh, we just won this? Yeah, uh, you know, being in a shootout two nights in a row like that uh, was pretty nerve-wracking, but, uh, you know, we had the guys in our squad to get it done, and, uh, you know, when Troy scored that, uh, that shootout goal, we were pretty confident that Pars, uh, you know, he'd stop that, uh, that next shooter. And, uh, you know, we were going to be gold medal, uh, you know, gold medal champions. And, you know, that's, that's how it worked out. And, you know, I wouldn't have had it any other way. What was it like when you actually received that medal? Because you actually got to take the trophy as a captain, right? Yeah, uh, you know, pretty special. Uh, you know, a lot of goosebumps uh, lifting that trophy above my head and uh, just being able to share with those guys. You know, we worked so hard and, you know, we were so close, like I said, just uh, so special to be able to share with them after, you know, how hard we worked and, you know, a hostile uh, crowd like we were in Canada there. And it was just, uh, you know, made it all the better and it was just so special. What is it like for you to represent not only with the Team USA, but also Wisconsin as you're playing for Team USA? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, Wisconsin has had a lot of guys, uh, you know, in the World Juniors and be successful in the World Juniors. So I just wanted to, you know, keep the, keep the train going and just help uh, do whatever I could to help the team be successful. And, you know, we were successful. So, uh, you know, a great track re record of, you know, Wisconsin players being in that tournament and doing good things. And I just wanted to keep doing that. Can you describe the difference between playing in the Big Ten and playing for Wisconsin and playing for Team USA and playing in a competition like that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, playing here in Wisconsin, college hockey, you know, there's older guys, it's a little more physical, more of a grindy game, and then you go, you know, playing against uh, the best players in the world at this age group, uh, a lot more skill, I think, and, uh, you know, a lot more high scoring, I feel like, uh, just, you know, just the way the game's played, I think, is a little bit different, and, you know, you kind of got to strategize a little bit differently, but, uh, you know, I, I definitely think uh, me playing here at Wisconsin helped me be successful in, uh, you know, international stage. How do you find a way to balance academics with not only being an athlete, which we talked to a lot of athletes and asked them about balancing academics and their practice schedule and their game schedules, but you also have this added element of playing in the World Junior Championship. So how do you find time for it all? Yeah, I think uh, time management's huge. Uh, you know, you got to stay on top of your work and get things done on time. And, you know, I was uh, fortunate enough to have a lot of help here and I got uh, all my stuff done before I left. So it uh, didn't have to think about it when I was gone at the tournament. I could just focus on hockey. You have a pretty famous coach, Tony Granato. And what is it like playing for him and knowing what his history is with the game? Yeah, it's been unbelievable. Uh, you know, I'm so lucky to have him, you know, along with, you know, Donnie and uh, Oz as, as coaches here. Uh, I've learned so much already and, you know, I know I'm only going to, you know, learn more and more from them every day and just very fortunate to have the coaches that we have here because, you know, they've, they've been at the highest levels and, you know, that's where I want to be. So uh, just, you know, being a sponge, soaking it all in and uh, it's, it's been great. I saw a quote from one of your coaches saying that you're you're just a workhorse. That's kind of what your staple is in hockey. And I even saw a quote comparing you to J.J. Watt, who plays football, but still, that's a pretty good comparison. How do you describe the way that you approach hockey and your practice mentality? Yeah, uh, you know, I just want to be successful in whatever it is I'm doing in life. And, 
Uh, you know, your work ethic, I feel like, is one thing that you can control. There's a lot of things you can't. So, uh, you know, if you're the hardest working guy and most competitive guy, I think good things will follow. So I just always try to bring those uh, elements to my game. I know a lot of athletes have superstitions or th routines that they have to do before every game. Do you have any bizarre superstitions or anything like that that you have to have before each game? Uh, I don't know if there's anything too crazy. I like uh, staying on my, you know, my schedule. Uh, I get dressed, you know, put my gear on a certain way, uh, tape my stick a certain way, little things like that, but nothing, uh, nothing too bizarre that, uh, that, that needs to be shared. So when you say put your gear on a certain way, I've talked to football players and soccer players who are like, I have to put my right sock on before my left sock. I have to tie my left shoe before my right shoe. Is that what you're talking about? Something like that? Like a, a pattern? Yeah, yeah, right, uh, right shin guard on before left, left skate on before right, tie the left skate before, before the right. There's, there's a bunch of them, so that, uh, it's pretty detailed. I mean, it seems to work for you. You're very successful, so I, I would say that it may seem a little strange to other people, but it's working for you, right? Yeah, it's working, so I'm not going to change anything right now. All right, you are also a captain of this Wisconsin hockey team, but you're just a sophomore. So what, what is it like being, you know, on the younger side of this team, but also being a leader on the team? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Very honored to be selected, you know, captain here. And, you know, we have a lot of great leaders in that locker room. And, you know, guys like Grant Bessie, Cameron Hughes, you know, Corbin McGuire, upperclassmen who, who, you know, I count on a lot. And, you know, we just kind of feed off each other. And I think uh, that's why we've, we've been doing well so far. And, you know, we just got to keep, uh, keep the things going that we're doing. Um, you know, things have been, things have been uh, progressing in the right way, and we just want to keep that going. Do you have an outlook for the rest of the season? What kind of goals have you guys set for the team? Yeah, you know, we're just taking it day by day, weekend by weekend, and, you know, we just, you know, want to focus on our next game, our next opponent, and be ready for that, and, you know, just keep getting wins, and, you know, I, we want to win a Big Ten championship and, you know, make the tournament and make a run. So, uh, you know, we're, we're winners in that locker room, and, you know, losing doesn't sit well with us. So, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. You talked about the history of former Badgers playing for Team USA and also your former coaches is an alum. Do you have a specific Badger that you look up to? Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys. I think, uh, you know, Pavelski's one. Uh, you know, he's doing great things in the NHL now. He's played, uh, you know, for, for the U.S. And, uh, you know, I just love his all-around game and, and what he brings to the table. So uh, he's one guy that I like to watch. What personal goals do you have for yourself this season? You've accomplished so much already, but do you have benchmarks or um, goals that you set for yourself throughout the season that you would like to hit? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, one of my goals is to win a Big Ten championship and you know a national championship, and um, you know that's what we're uh, that's what we're trying to do here, and I, I think we're you know we're on the right track. All right, Luke, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck with the rest of the season and congratulations on that gold medal. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.